moment. Um, yeah. So today I have a haul to share with you guys. It's from the online shop um, called Tuberry.com, and it basically sells Asian clothing accessories. So this is my first time or second time purchasing clothes from the internet ever. Just because I never really shop for clothes on the internet because I don't have the clothes hanger body type like. What looks good on models usually don't look good on me, so, but I cave and, you know, I made some purchases. And fortunately, I'm happy with most of them, so, uh, so I'm really excited to share this website with you. Before I get into the haul, I just wanted to let you guys know some new things about my body type, just because, um, you know, I don't have the perfect body type and this might help us with you. My biggest concern when it comes to clothes shopping is my shoulders and my arms. I have rather massive arms and shoulders compared to the rest of my body and my head. I have a very small head. And so my shoulders is like are like really round and they are not the most flattering when it comes to clothes. But the biggest problem I have are my arms. They are not skinny. <laughs> you guys can see too. Like this is my face and my arm is like like almost as big as my face is ridiculous. I have like Really, really wide arms. Yeah, my arms are my insecurity when it comes to my whole body. So, yeah. So, yeah, when it comes to clothes, usually like the part that don't fit me are my arms and my shoulders. So, that's why I don't buy clothes off the internet. Even if I just like go to the store and look at some clothes online, I'll be like, oh, it's so pretty. And then when I try them, I'm like, what the hell? Yeah, but so there are two things I was worried about before I was making the purchases. The first one is. Um, I was worried that the, the clothing material are gonna be tacky because I mean you don't see the real thing you know like Forever 21 they have some clothes that have those like really sheer and cheap like material that after a few washes there are like holes in there and the clothes would lose their structure so I was worried about that and the second thing I was worried about was like the clothes were all free sizes so I was like oh my god you know Asian clothing sizes are not my thing. I, I'm like not a, one of these girls who can fit into like teeny tiny Asian girl size. But I was looking like over their YouTube videos. Um, Kara, I think she's the owner of Tuberry.com. She made a video talking about the sizing and she said all the sizes are converted to US sizes. And she did talk about how she couldn't fit into like the teeny tiny Asian sizes too. So I was like, that's me! That is so me! Um, before I get into the clothes, I wanted to talk about some like some of my main complaints of this store. The website lacks um, like photos of like the models displaying like at each and every side of the clothes. Um, you know, when I want to shop for clothes, I want to see the front, the back, and then you know I want to see like how the neckline is and then what the sh how the shoulder fits. Models posing like you know in a way that I can't really tell what the neckline looks like or how it hangs around the waist so that's my first complaint and then also they don't have like detailed pictures of the patterns of the um the graph like the graphs on the shirt actually that's my only complaint and customer service wise they're not the fastest in replying I would say give them like two days but um, shipping wise, my first order got shipped out the next day. The second order, it didn't just shipped out until like a full week after. But I contacted them just because they're really backed up um, for the holidays. So that's that. Okay, so I'm wearing the giraffe tee right here. like about this is how small the hood is. I wish it's bigger and it's really pointy so it kind of looks like, kind of looks silly when I put it on. So I prefer not to wear the hood when I have this hoodie on. And also the lining of the hood, inside of the hood, is a little bit thinner than I expected. Okay, now I have the panda shirt and this one is my favorite. It has two pockets on either side and 
I have no clue what it says on the word. I don't know if it bugs you guys that, you know, when some Asian clothing have English that doesn't make sense. It does bug me, but this one is kind of like, you know, just down there. It doesn't attract that much attention, so I don't really mind it. But yeah, I don't know what it says. So it's kind of really cute. And the sleeve is the shape, and it's also have this single right up here. show that it has like a panda rear end on the other side which I find endearing anyway so I like it. Here I have the panda t-shirt and when I got it I was like oh my god this is huge like I mean I know it's gonna be loose and big but I didn't expect it's gonna be this big but I still really like it I really love how loose and big it fits if that makes sense. Obviously overpriced due to the drama hype, but that's exactly why I bought it. <laughs> so um, yeah, this is the most expensive piece I got, and um, this is not particularly um, flattering to my body type as well because of the fluffy or this material here. It kind of makes my shoulder look a little bit wider, but it's not something horrific. I still like it. All the clothes I purchased from there, this one has the thinnest fabric. It's not sheer, but it's thin enough that um, if you wear like padded bra or like you have like belly piercing like I do, then you can sometimes see it um, through the fabric. So um, you might want to wear something underneath. But my biggest complaint about this um, piece is that the website really lacks any detail picture of the hood itself, which is like, I'm pretty sure it's the selling point of this hood. But um, I totally did not see that there's gonna be this little pattern here before I purchased this. I mean, even when I was watching the drama, I didn't notice it. And when I was looking at the pictures, they didn't really show one that actually have, like shows this pattern. 
Here's the pattern here. I don't know what kind of design it is, but I find it really cheap and tacky. I don't like this at all. I mean, I like this whole hoodie, except for this. No, if I had seen this, I probably wouldn't have purchased it. Here I have the City Hunters Skull tee. And out of all the pieces I got, this is the most unflattering pertaining to my body because I do have like wider arms and it doesn't make it look so good. It actually um, kind of brings the focus to my arms. So this is my least favorite, but oh well. sheer at all. It's, it has some thickness to it, so I like it. I have some close-up pictures of the fabrics. Hopefully you guys can kind of tell what kind of fabric it is if I suck at this um, describing what kind of fabric there is. Yeah, before I bought it, I knew, I kind of knew it, it might not um, be the most flattering on me, but I purchased it anyway. But you know, when it comes to round shoulders, it's smarter to have some kind of structure here, so it would like, you know, get the roundness some kind of structure yeah so um this is the most unflattering piece on me i haven't washed this yet so i can't tell you how wash it well uh, how well it washes but i have washed the other one so i'm not worried about it okay now moving on to accessories i did get quite a few accessories from there so first one i'm gonna show you is this ring here it's a little cat thing it's also a tool Um, but it's adjustable on the end, so that's nice. Just push it and I wear it like this. Another ring I got, which I think looks a little bit different on the website. I wasn't expecting it to be like this rhinestone material, but it's still cute. It's very girly. Which doesn't really suit my personality, but well. Um, so. This is not as adjustable as the other one. As you can see, you have to push it all the way to like this in order for it to fit my finger. So it kind of looks like this. It's cute. Come on. It looks like this. And this is Anna Sui on it. To give you guys an idea of how long it is, it does come down to here. And next, I also have this necklace that's, I guess, letter and key. And cross, and it also comes to the same length as the Anna Sweet one. Next, I have this home sweet home necklace. Actually, it says more than home sweet home. It says home sweet home down here, but up here it also says something else, which I kind of have no clue what it says. Next, I have this um, giraffe necklace that says "Good luck" over here. This one is a little bit longer than the others. I also got this, these earrings, like the little wing earrings. When I was reading on the website for the reviews, a lot of them said like it's bigger than they thought. So I was like, okay, yeah, I'm expecting them to be like, because I was expecting them, I was hoping they'd be like teeny tiny like this. So when I re read the reviews, I thought it's gonna be like bigger, but I was like, I, there's no way I expect them to be like this huge. Like, this is not just big, this is like huge to me. But they're so cute. I like them. So just. For you guys out there who are interested in these, this is how big they actually are. They're not like small study earrings at all. Okay. This and it comes with like a little plastic um, back piece. It doesn't really stay though. You have to like push the back piece really hard for it to kind of like stay there. So that's the earring. I also purchased from the website is the boys over flowers necklace which I don't have anymore because I purchased it for my roommate because she's obsessed with that drama um I personally don't really like the drama so I'm like ah, whatever um but yeah I, I bought the necklace for her so I don't have any more but 
I will post a picture of it. But let me tell you guys, um, my roommate like tried to put it on and the chain broke. So I guess it's not the most like built necklace that's happened to my roommate. The thing I wanted to buy the most, but it's not, but I didn't buy it was the City Hunter bullet necklace. Um, you know, that was like the thing I was like I was kind of looking for. Um, but it's at twenty dollars, and I really can't spend twenty dollars on like a rope and a bullet. So I'm just like, I'm just gonna let the drama hype die down first, and then see if it's still available. If it is, then great. But if not, then I guess I have to pass. Um, but hopefully, you know, in a year or so, the price will kind of come down, and then I'll add that to my collection. And I think that's all. Um, I hope some of you find this haul helpful. Um, Look like and have holidays, everybody.